Cyprus is the third largest and third most populous island in the Mediterranean Sea after Sicily and Sardinia. Nicosia is the largest city of Cyprus with about 200,000 inhabitants and is also the country's capital city followed by Limassol, Strovolos and Larnaca. Nicosia probably is Europe's only divided city if we take Belfast out of consideration. The north is controlled by the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus whereas the south is controlled by the Republic of Cyprus. In total Cyprus is home to about 1.19 million people. An interesting fact is that Cyprus was first settled by Mycenaean Greeks in the second millennium BC but then was occupied by several different regional powers as Cyprus has an important strategic location in the east of the Mediterranean Sea. These powers include the Assyrians, the Egyptians, the Persians, the Greek, the Roman Empire and even Arab Caliphates, the French, the Ottoman Empire and Cyprus was also annexed by the UK in 1914. Greek Cypriots made up 77% of the population in 1960, whereas Turkish Cypriots made up 18%. The Greek Cypriots wanted Greece to take over the whole island, while the Turkish Cypriots wanted the British to continue controlling it, but then demanded annexation by Turkey. In 1960 Cyprus became independent, however there were many social tensions and violence which resulted in tens of thousands of Turkish Cypriots moving into Turkish Cyprotic enclaves and many Greek Cypriots moving out of them. In 1974 Greece and Greek Cypriots nationalists wanted to overthrow the government with the goal of annexation of the whole island by Greece. Then Turkey also started an invasion which resulted in the fact that Cyprus today under international law has sovereignty over the whole island except of the southern base areas of Atrokiri and Tekelia owned to the UK but in reality is split into a northern part administrated by the self-declared Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and a southern part controlled by the Republic of Cyprus. The south makes up 59% of the total area, 36% are controlled by the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which by the way is only recognized by Turkey, but nevertheless has control over the islands north and 4% are covered by the UN buffer zone between the north and south. But let's keep politics aside and move on to some more facts about Cyprus worth knowing. Cyprus is famous for the Cypriot halumni cheese, for being the birthplace of the Greek goddess Aphrodite, for its wine, for the cultural heritage site of the tombs of the kings, for its copper industry, its remarkable and in my opinion beautiful flag, for the many Cypriot beaches, for the Trodos mountain range where one can even ski, and Cyprus is also known for the fact that one can acquire a Cyprus passport, which is a passport of the European Union, by an investment of 2 million euros. But as we will find out soon, Cyprus has much more than that to offer. Greek and Turkish are the only two official languages in Cyprus and Armenian as well as Cypriot Arabic are minority languages. Since English was the only official language during British colonial rule, about 80-90% to of the population is fluent in English. Russian after English and Greece is the third most common language used on many signs of shops and restaurants. In addition to these languages, 12% speak French and 5% speak German. Most of the Greek Cypriots identify as Greek Orthodox, while most Turkish Cypriots are Sunni Muslim. That is why Eastern Orthodoxy is the strongest religion with about 78%, followed by Islam with 20%. In 1960 the flag of Cyprus used to look like this, then it was quickly changed into this version here and in 2006 it was again slightly modified. The flag features the entire island of Cyprus in copper orange color, symbolizing the large deposits of copper ore on the island. Below one can find two olive branches which represents peace between the Greek and Turkish Cyprus. The white background also is a symbol of peace. Let us also take a glimpse at the flag of Northern Cyprus. The flag of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is based on the flag of Turkey with the colors reversed and two additional horizontal red stripes in the top and bottom. 
Even though there is no official statement on the meaning of the flag, it can be interpreted as the star and crescent meaning Turkishness, the red color representing the blood of the Turkish Cypriots and the stripes indicating Turkey and Northern Cyprus. Before the current flag, the flag of Turkey was used in Northern Cyprus. The national animal of Cyprus is the Cypriot mouflon and the national flower is the cyclamen. Cyprus is known for its banking industry, but in the early 21st century, the Cypriot economy has diversified and grown a lot. However, Cyprus was hit hard by the Eurozone financial and banking crisis in 2012. Cyprus has an open, free market, service-based economy. Internationally, Cyprus promotes its geographical location as a bridge between East and West, along with its educated, English-speaking population, relatively low local costs and good airline connections. The Cyprus legal system is founded upon English law and is therefore familiar to most international companies. Restrictions on foreign direct investment were removed, permitting 100% foreign in ownership in many cases. In 2002, a modern, business-friendly tax system was put in place with a 12.5% corporate tax rate, one of the lowest in the European Union. Cyprus has concluded treaties on double taxation with more than 60 countries. Tourism is another important factor of the economy, culture and overall brand development. With over 2 million tourists arrivals per year, it is the 40th most popular destination in the world. Per capita, it ranks 17th. Furthermore, the agriculture and food processing industry is significant to the Cypriot economy. Especially potatoes, tangerines, grapes, oranges, grapefruits and olives are grown in Cyprus. Its main export partners are Libya, Greece and Norway, whereas its main import partners are Greece, Italy and China. Later in this video, there will be an interview with Florian Wilk, who runs a YouTube channel called Tax Insights by Florian Wilk. He moved from Germany to Cyprus, will talk about his journey and will give useful information to everyone who is interested in moving to Cyprus. If you have an idea which country I should cover next, please let me know down in the comments. This video is part of a video series that covers informative facts and the migration procedure of many countries around the globe. I've created a dedicated video for countless countries worldwide. You can find the playlist linked in the video description below. But let's return to Cyprus. What are the main upsides of moving to Cyprus and what needs to be considered? As of the 2019 UN report, Cyprus ranks 111th among the countries with the largest foreign-born population. About 200,000 people living in Cyprus were not born there, but moved to this country during their lifetime. The largest foreign-born populations are the Greek, followed by the British, Romanians and Bulgarians. But what are the advantages of moving to Cyprus? Let us begin with the fact that Cyprus is a very safe country. As of the Numbeo Safety Index, it is even safer than Singapore, Spain or Norway and ranks 33rd worldwide. Next comes the Cyprotic nature and climate. Cyprus is an island with a length of 240 kilometers and a width of 100 kilometers at its widest point, which means that Cyprus isn't as small as you might think. There is a mountain range located in the country's west, with its highest point at 1952 meters on Mount Olympus. By the way, the tallest mountain of Greece is called Mount Olympus as well, but it is almost 1000 meters taller. The fact that Cyprus is very mountainous means that one can do many different kind of activities that are related to mountains. Even though Cyprus has a warm Mediterranean climate, one can even ski there. Another interesting eco-region of Cyprus are the Cyprus Mediterranean forests that are home to a diverse plant community, 26 species of amphibians and reptiles, 36 species of mammals and many more kinds of birds. Cyprus offers very mild winters and warm hot summers. It only snows in the Cypriot mountain range and rains mostly in winters, while summers are generally dry. Cyprus has one of the warmest climates of all of the European Union, with average annual temperatures at about 24 degrees Celsius at the coast during the day and 14 degrees Celsius at night. Sunshine hours on the coast are between 5 to 6 hours per day in December to about 12 to 13 hours in July. This is about double than of cities in Northern Europe. So if you prefer a warm Mediterranean climate, 
then moving to Cyprus probably would be a good idea. Let us continue with the Cypriot culture and also the question of what is similar and what is different between the Greek Cypriots and the Turkish Cypriots. Several traditional dishes such as sovla or halomi are similar, as well as expression and ways of life. Hospitality and offering food and drinks for guests and others are common among both. In both communities, music, dance and art are important parts of social life. However, the two communities have distinct religions and religious cultures, with the Greek Cypriots traditionally being Greek Orthodox and Turkish Cypriots traditionally being Sunni Muslims. Greek Cypriots have influences from Greece and Christianity, while Turkish Cypriots have influences from Turkey and Islam. Another interesting aspect of the Cypriot culture is the fact that it was, of course by different degrees, influenced by the empires, countries and monarchies that had control over the island. One example is the fact that the French Lusignan monarchs of Cyprus were known for bringing Syrian cooks to Cyprus which brought more diversity into the cuisine of the country. It is considered that one of the most important routes for importing Middle Eastern recipes into France and other Western European countries was via Cyprus. Another upside of Cyprus is its strong education system. Cyprus has a highly developed system of primary and secondary education offering both public and private education. Nearly 7% of the Cypriot GDP is spent on education, which makes Cyprus one of the top three spenders on education in the European Union. As mentioned previously, English is widely spoken, which is another upside of this country. Last but not least, we have the unique Cypriot lifestyle. More precisely, it is the way you want it to be. And this flexibility is a great advantage of Cyprus. If you prefer a slow and relaxed way of life, Cyprus with its Mediterranean spin has a lot to offer. But also if you prefer a busy and vibrant way of life, there is nothing stopping you. What does it cost to live in Cyprus? If you live of 3000 US dollars a month in Chicago, you'll need about 2190 US dollars a month for the same quality of life in Limassol. This means that the cost of living in Limassol is about 27% lower than the cost of living in Chicago. To be honest, I can spot a lot of disadvantages of moving to Cyprus. One drawback may be the fact that Cyprus is an island, which means that traveling to other countries is not that easy, since one needs to travel by boat or by plane. Another downside is the fact that average salaries are relatively low in relation to the expenses. Let us continue with interviewing Florian. Florian, when did you move to Cyprus and which city did you move to? Hi, my name is Florian. I'm living since uh, 10 years now in Cyprus uh, and I decided for the beautiful city of Lanaka because we have uh, the airport, the sea, it's not far to Ayanapa, not far to Nicosia and Limassol, so you're kind of in the middle of everything and uh, actually Lanaka these days is great uh, developing we have a new marina which is now under construction lots of new things coming up and um, new restaurants and uh, new mall so Lanaka actually is um, especially now the most interesting place for my personal opinion uh, in Cyprus but of course I also like to visit uh, Paphos or Limassol or Nicosia because there's also many interesting things to see and hear from Lanaka uh, it's not so far to visit those places, apart from Paphos, which is a bit remote, it's like 90 minutes drive. Um, but uh, I didn't regret my choice, I really like it in Lanaka and um, yeah, I recommend for anyone who's thinking to move to Cyprus just to spend some time in each city and then to figure out um, where they like it most. Why did you choose Cyprus? Yeah, I chose Cyprus because I wanted to change my place of residence. I was looking into many jurisdictions like Malta, like Bulgaria, Romania and uh, others as well. And here in Cyprus, I just like the lifestyle. It's Mediterranean, it's a great climate. So it's really like nice, mild Mediterranean climate, a bit hot in the summer, um, but never going too cold in the winter. So it's a great place to live very nice weather, the people are extremely friendly, extremely helpful and uh, they make you feel welcome from the beginning. It's a really great uh, mentality of the people. Everybody speaks English, 80% of the people 
do speak English and on a good level, so you don't have any problem of communication. Yeah, you have international people from anywhere of the world, from Israel, Germany, France, England, Russia. So it's very good uh, mixture and you find easily expats and uh, people uh, who have the same interests and hobbies uh, and uh, with English you will not have any communication problem at all. Also it's very good location, I mean with 3 hours to Dubai, 30 minutes to Beirut, 30 minutes to Tel Aviv, just 3 hours to Central Europe, so it's really a strategic location and it's very much in the middle between Europe and Asia and Africa, so um, you have short flights uh, and Lanark Airport especially has many many connections so you are easy um, everywhere in this region and have a great uh, access to those places. Also it's a very safe place, you don't have to worry about uh, your um, belongings or about your safety or something like this, it's a very safe place. Some people don't even lock their car or lock their houses, uh, so just to show you um, that is really a, a great and safe place to be, especially um, for families, right? It's a very safe place and it's not too small. It's an island, but you still have many, many places to explore, to discover. There's big forest areas, there's beaches, sandy beaches, rocky beaches. There is uh, cities uh, which are more historical, uh, like Nicosia, but also more modern places like Limassol, so you have a really wild mixture, let's say. You don't feel bored or something like that because you have a big choice of uh, places to see, of uh, sightseeing spots and uh, much, much more. So it's a really nice combination and this for me makes Cyprus uh, my place of living and uh, my choice um, of the places where I want to be. What do you miss most about your life in Germany? Actually, I don't miss so many things about Germany. Uh, of course, uh, it's nice to speak in German, but I have in my business to do with many German people, so I don't, for me, it's okay. Uh, I miss the food sometimes, uh, and sometimes in the summer, especially uh, when it's very hot here in July, August, I like to visit Germany uh, to see family, of course, and friends, but also to have this little bit um, cooling down because when it's 30, six degrees, 38 degrees, it's nice to be in a little bit uh, cooler environment. Uh, so um, yeah, this is actually um, the, the main thing, uh, what I miss about Germany. Okay, sometimes the mentality, it can be also here. It's like slowly, slowly, everything is very slow, but you get used to it and um, also like uh, you can uh, avoid uh, things being delayed and many things are actually very fast. Like the internet uh, is very good here and very good internet speed and um, also you build your network of people of course to make sure that everything is going to be uh, fast and efficient and you are not get, uh, getting stuck somewhere. What advice would you give people who are interested in moving to Cyprus? Yeah, if you are thinking to move to Cyprus uh, and um, you want to relocate, I want to give you like a few ideas uh, what I suggest to you. First of all, it's a great place to live. Um, Anyhow, of course, you should uh, spend some time in Cyprus before you decide to relocate, like in any place. Um, but it's also very good if you want to combine it, like you have lots of tax advantages in Cyprus, for example, and the 60-day rule. So if you spend at least 60 days a year in Cyprus, you can use all the tax benefits and spend the rest of the year maybe traveling or in a second or third residence uh, place. So it's very nice. Uh, for tax structuring, this is very interesting about Cyprus, um, but also it's a great main base. Yeah, if you're looking for a base, a place to live, and you want to live peaceful and safe, and you don't have to worry about anything with a very friendly environment, um, this is definitely a, a very, very good choice. Uh, also, you have the stability of the European Union, uh, which is very nice. So, my advice basically is. Um, check Cyprus, visit the island, uh, go to different places to see what you like most um, and then decide if it's for you and um, I wish you I make the right choice for you and uh, have a great time in Cyprus and enjoy the Mediterranean lifestyle. Take care, thank you very much, bye bye. Thank you Florian for taking time to join this interview.
please make sure to check out his YouTube channel linked in the description below for more informative videos about Florian's life in Cyprus. He has some really informative videos about Cyprus but also about Georgia, so if you are planning to move to Cyprus, you should definitely go check out his channel. But what needs to be done in order to move to Cyprus? Citizens of most North and South American countries, as well as citizens from almost all European countries and some Asian countries, are able to visit Cyprus visa-free for up to 90 days. This comes in handy since it allows you to get to know Cyprus a bit better before you decide to move there. Cyprus offers short-term, long-term, transit, group and student visas. Since the regulations change from time to time, and since this strongly depends on your personal circumstances, please make sure to check out the link in the video description for more information about the Cypriot visa types. When it comes to Northern Cyprus, then it is worth knowing that citizens of all countries are able to enter Northern Cyprus, except for citizens of Armenia, Nigeria and Syria. 